How to make a second After Effects wideout plugins. This effect is really easy to do and looks really nice for edits. I will make it wideout the S Shake plugin. First, add the motion tail effect to your footage. Then, go to the effects controls and set the output wide and high to 400. Next, select your footage and use the shortcut S to open the keyframe scale. Create a keyframe and move it up slightly. Then, go to the beginning of the clip and create another keyframe with a value of 400. Select all the keyframes and make them easy ease for a smoother effect. Now we need to go to the graph and follow what I do with it. To add a rotation press R to open the rotation keyframes. Create a keyframe and move it along the timeline but not beyond the scale keyframe. At the beginning of the timeline create another keyframe with a value of min 10. Then at various points along the timeline create more keyframes with values of 5 and min 2. Select all the keyframes and make them easy ease with the shortcut F9. Use the shortcut P to open the position keyframes and create a keyframe that matches the rotation keyframe. Move the footage up at the beginning of the timeline and then down later on. Select all the footage and make it easy ease. Finally, turn on motion blur for a smoother effect. Now what you need to do is find you the keyframes for the best shake effect. You can easily create a realistic shake effect in After Effects without plugins. This is all what you need to know. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you want more tutorials like this.